as a little tradition, I am doing a video of my Integra. The only problem is, as you can tell from the paint job, it's a different Integra. And that is completely different block. No more leaky oil seal. No more nothing. Uh, only problem is AC thing. The tensioner bolt fell off. And, well, I don't know if the AC is still working, so I got to work and look at that. It's got a nice... It looks K&N made, but I'm not so sure because of just the way that, like all this is put together. It just looks a little cheaper than K&N's usual. It seems like it's got good terminals, both positive and negative. It's got a cool amplifier. Well, it doesn't actually have it yet in it, but that's something the guy wanted me to add on. It has all the usual get up and go and stuff. And I should have taken a photo or showed him a video earlier, but I had just finished painting this. Surprisingly, it's easy to paint, and it looks pretty glossy, like a high gloss finish. I mean, definitely here, I gotta go over it again. Sign it down, go over it again right there. But up there, it's my little paint job, it was a little rusty right there. But I got that fixed. That's dented in, painted that, accidentally painted the DOHC. It's got the Skunk 2 exhaust with, whoa, big fat pipe with a catalytic converter. And it looks like stock. Sway bar underneath. Everything stock underneath. Um, something my old car had but wouldn't work was a lever right there the springs were stiff probably because it was sitting seven months but this unlocks this baby down here it's got the aftermarket antenna like I said I don't know what sub he had and there's I think he said it was a bazooka tube or something like that I'm betting, I gotta run a power and see what a power comes out to be, but I'm betting it's on this one, because it looks like it's coming from right there, I mean they're both coming from the same spot, audio, video, or not audio, like sound, it's more, here's that wiring, um, this is pretty bad in here, nice and rusted, well not through, but it's just got that color tone, and it looks like it. It's just kind of disgusting. So, I am going to be... Oh, wow, he's already got two of them. Them dog caps. He's got a spare in there. It's okay. That stuff is okay. It's okay there. This seat is kind of messed up. So, I took out that little divider. I have my rigid tools, which I absolutely love. It does such a good job. High impact driver and hammer and a lot of other drill driver. So, yeah, that's a pretty nice one. Saying it, I have four brand new hand cooked tires coming in again. He did the drill and slotted brakes. New internals on the, that caliper. Uh, I am going to paint those calipers. So, yes, it's going to be nice. That's nice and kind of, oh, very good tread on it, I should say. And where I'm already kind of beat up. Not much road rash, but they're damp. They're dirty. Haven't gotten it through the wash yet. Drilled, slotted, also gapped with the red brake caliper again. And a bumper. Hood showing uh, spider cracks all over. Uh, this thing's been cracked once. Right there. Uh, sorry about the bad photo thing. My iPhone won't allow me to like take off camera. It's been hit right there. I can tell. Spider cracks right there. There. All over the front bumper. It's been spider cracked. Even up there. Right above that light. 
clear lenses the guy did. These tires are absolutely shot. I did a couple burnouts in them already. Had some fun. Body is pretty straight. Then we get into the interior, which I kind of like. For any of you Acura fans, these are pretty tight. These little custom-made things right here. Granted, I wish it was would stay a little bit better, but they are pretty tight. Got one there. Got those in the back. This is a nice head unit he did. And boy, did he do a good job on this one. Oh, I just took that off. Oops. It's pretty nice, I'd have to say. Sounds great. Love it. Aftermarket there. Aftermarket down here. Short throw shifter. Chrome. Because there would be no way that would be black. It's got that. Here's the tensioner pulley. That. It's got a new bolt that needs to go through there. Uh, I just got this all this paint stuff, so caliper paint because you saw that one in the back. That was gone. It's got this USB thing going right through it. Uh, it's got a lot of nice stuff in here. I've got my usual. Surprisingly, that's not faded at all. Got my stuff in there. It's got a security system too on this car, and a lock and key fob, which I'm so proud of. Like. Well, you can lock it from a mile away. Huh. Just noticed this button. I gotta figure out what that is for. I wonder if it's for Nas or something like that. Nas, shh. <laughs> that just would be funny. Spare key. My sunglasses. Fuse box. Hood. Roof. Works. That is like someone tried taking off the steering wheel or something like that. I'm not messing with it because there's an airbag and it feels kind of compressed pretty good in there. This car is not bad at all. I mean, actually, that stays in for once. I can replace this and get a different one there. Wait, there's 